Carl Stewart, it's a bit noisy there, I think. We'll speak to him in a minute. Before that, they're all the rage at the moment. Sales of wood-burning stoves mm. have tripled in the last five years. But air quality experts are warning that they are a danger to the environment and our health, and that they contribute to high pollution levels in places like Manchester city centre. Here's our environment correspondent, Judy Hobson. It's the most fashionable way of heating your home. 175,000 are installed every year, but experts say wood-burning stoves can make air pollution worse in urban areas. Right above my bed and the other bedrooms and the lounge, so even on a Sunday morning I can get exposed to wood smoke. Mark Tebbett lives in Chorley and says the smoke from his neighbour's stoves affects the air in his home. Some days it's so bad that I'll actually leave the house and go visit my parents for a few hours just to get away from the smell. Three and a half thousand people die prematurely every year in the northwest as a result of air pollution. The biggest concern is diesel engines which emit PM 2.5s, tiny particles which increase the risk of cancer, stroke and heart attack. Wood burners do have green credentials because they don't impact on global warming. But scientists say they have concerns about air quality. They produce substantial amounts of particulate and they're emitted into the atmosphere. We can measure them in cities like Manchester, like London, and see that in winter time they can contribute something like around 30 to 40 percent of the primary emitted particulate, small particulate in that environment. That's higher than first thought. In fact, one study suggests a single log burning stove permitted in a smokeless zone emits more PM 2.5s a year than a thousand petrol cars. This Lancashire business sells 16,000 wood burners every year. They meet the highest UK efficiency tests, but emissions depend on what is burnt. You can't police what's being put into the stove to burn, and even with a DEFRA um, approved stove, if you put wet wood on it, you're still going to get massive particulate problems. So it's mainly about educating the user on what to burn um, and not to have that impact on the environment. Open fires and older stoves are the biggest problem, but technology will need to adapt to the latest research. We need to understand who is burning what and where and how often to understand the contribution in total now and projected into the future. There's no suggestion that wood-burning stoves should be banned, but air quality experts say their impact on pollution levels in our city centres is an issue which needs tackling. Judy Hobson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Lancashire.